guys, so we're back. We ordered Timberins for the truck. Uh, just over time, the suspension in the rear has been sagging more and more. Uh, and I don't want to put airbags on the truck. Yeah. All right, so uh, we chose to go with the Timberins over like airbags or anything more expensive than that because uh, I know I'm going to be upgrading to a three quarter ton diesel. So I didn't want to put uh, an airbag system on this truck knowing that I'm going to get rid of it eventually. Um, so the reason why I'm so dirty is because I've already installed one of these Timberins. They're pretty much the same on both sides. The only difference is the driver's side says left on it. The other one is not labeled at all. Um, I looked at maybe three videos on YouTube on how to install these. They all installed them the same way. I'm going to show you the fastest, easiest way. Alright, so to install the Timberin SES on a F-150, all you're going to need is a 17 millimeter short socket, 3H drive, 13 millimeter deep well socket, 3H drive. 3H drive wrench or ratchet and a short extension 3H drive and you possibly may need a 17 millimeter wrench. I actually didn't use it. Um, this is all I use but I could see someone maybe having to use a wrench as well. So you're basically just going to prefab these pieces. You have this long, long bolt with a flat washer and a spring washer. You're going to install them like such flat washer spring washer bolt I'm gonna come through the bottom of the timberin you're gonna put this top on does not matter which way they're not labeled doesn't matter and you're gonna put it in the bottom side of the bracket that's gonna mount to your frame So I'm going to give it a good and tight on the table, <laughs> but I'm going to torque it to the proper spec when I get it under the truck. Remember to always use your specs from your instructions. Alright, so once you prefab it, it looks like that, it's pretty much going to bolt to the frame like this. Depending on how tall your truck is, they send you a spare set of bolts that are a little longer. My truck is not that tall in the rear to use these so we're just using these and all you're going to do is put it into the frame where these two tabs are on the inside of the frame bolt goes in like such and you just torque that all right guys so we're under the truck yes Kathleen is under the truck <laughs> <laughs> and uh so you're basically just going to put on the F-150s you're going to use a 13 millimeter socket, deep well with an extension on a 3H drive ratchet, and you're going to remove the factory bumps, bump stops. This is basically your pre-drilled hole from factory where your bolts will go for your timberings. So, like I said before, the post on the timberin is going to go inside the frame. Once you get the bolt installed through the timber and into your frame, you're going to take a 17 millimeter uh, short socket and tighten it up. You're going to get it as tight as you can with your hands first. Never thread a bolt from the start with a drill or a ratchet. Use your hand first, hand thread it, 
Some of you guys are going to be like, yeah, we already know. There's a lot of people that don't know. <laughs> Hand thread any bolt first, then tighten it with a wrench, then torque it. So that's all we're going to do. We're out testing the timberings on the truck and immediately you can tell that it's really stiff, almost like a dually would be driving without a load on it. Tell by the camera shaking. Uh, the truck is a lot stiffer. Like if you own an F-150, especially these 18s, they ride on glass. And these, this right now, it's pretty stiff, which is expected. Right now, it's just really bouncy without without a load on it. Quick update from the update. Here's a new update. <laughs> so we're on a smooth, like, back county road. We we were on, like, a local road. Very terrible. A lot of potholes. It was a really rough, rough ride. Um, now that we're, like, on a county road that's more maintained. And no, I'm not driving fast. These roads are just kind of crazy down in South Texas. Uh, I'm going probably 40 miles an hour. It's a it's a lot smoother. I don't really have the buck and chuck that I was having on the dirt roads. So I'm gonna tow with them, I think first, and, and then we'll see from there. Alright guys, so it's been uh, about two and a half hours on the freeway, or two hours on the freeway, probably about a half hour on like back roads, doing less than 55 with the timberings, with the load on, and I gotta say like, they're well worth the 200 bucks spent to get them, and the 30 minutes to put them on. Uh, if your truck has the wave, of like most most 1500s towing a trailer this long is going to have uh, the wave in the suspension as far as like if you hit a bump on the freeway the trailer wants to bounce the truck the timberings kind of eliminate all that it gives you like a stiffness in the rear end like a like a one ton would have it's the only other truck i can really compare it to like a one ton suspension how stiff it is so if you were if you're debating on it and you just haven't pulled the trigger, it's worth it. It's gonna make your driving uh, a lot less stressful, easier to control for sure. you guys out with your install prefab it first then put it on your truck on my truck I did have to because I have a leveling kit so the front of my truck sits a little higher than the rear I did have to jack up the rear end of my truck and let my suspension hang so the timberings would fit um, prefabbed already so again I hope this helped you guys uh, if you got any issues, put it in the comments on this video and we'll try to get back to you as fast as possible. We'll try to help you out. I did only install these on an F-150, nothing else. So if it comes different on anything else, I can help you out. But I never installed that, so I don't necessarily know. But thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.